they're just saying this is what we've learned so far about this individual. So why wouldn't that be why wouldn't that be relevant? This is his background. You want to you want to jump to say they're facts. Have these people been under oath? Have these people provided the opportunity for Christian to present his point of view on the matter? It's not a that point of view question. Yeah. The attorney for Molly Tibbetts accused killer, speaking of Fox's Martha McCallum, fighting back over claims that his client, Christian Rivera, an illegal immigrant who confessed to killing Molly, coming as the community of Brooklyn, Iowa, prepares for Molly's funeral, which has reignited the immigration debate in this country, that's for sure. Joining me now is Art Del Cueto, vice president of the National Border Patrol Council. A bizarre exchange there. Art, what did you make of it? You know, it, I think they're just grasping at, at straws to defend this individual. He admitted he committed this crime. This piece of human garbage entered our country illegally, and he spent six years being protected. And I think the blood of, of not just Molly's death, but the blood of a lot of these individuals that have been hurt, have been killed by these illegal aliens that enter our country, is in the hands of the people that are open border advocates, the individuals that want sanctuary cities, the numerous politicians that push and attack ICE, uh, it, it, it falls on their hands. And, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, it falls also on the hands of a lot of these leaders that have been in our own, our own agency, leaders in our own agency that have had the opportunity to do something about it and have stayed quiet and haven't done anything about it, haven't changed policies, haven't enforced any laws. I mean, the reality is that there's a lot of people to blame, but it's ridiculous to say we can't talk about him being an illegal alien. That's what he was. He was a piece of garbage that entered our country illegally. He was uh, living in the United States, and he does not share our worldview. He doesn't share our values, and it's obvious that he does not share our morals. Well, M Michelle Root was on this program uh, a bit earlier this morning. She was talking about her daughter, Sarah, uh, who died when she was hit in a, in a car accident by an illegal immigrant in also the state of Iowa. And she also could not believe that exchange. But she's talking about Sarah's law. It's been introduced in Iowa by uh, Senator Joni Ernst uh, that would basically call on ICE to detain uh, illegal immigrants when they kill American citizens. It sounds simple enough, but here is the mother uh, of Sarah, Michelle Root, this morning on that. Until it happened to us, I didn't realize that you could be in our country illegally, kill someone, bond out, and flee. I did not know we needed a law to state for sure if you're here illegally, you kill someone or seriously injure them, that you are detained. I didn't realize we needed a law to state that. She very passionately is calling for changes to our immigration laws in this country. Honestly, you need to start enforcing the laws that are there also. It, it is a shame that we have to have people die in order for certain politicians to open up their eyes and see the reality of what's happening. It's not staying in border states. It's moving into middle America. These individuals are coming into the United States. They're laughing at our laws, and something needs to be done about it. And it, it sickens me. It sickens me that we have to talk about it every time that somebody dies and there's people on the other side that want to argue and say, well, you know, don't talk about him because he's illegal. Let's, let's think things out. Let's open board. It's just ridiculous. We need to put our foot down now and we need to understand that it is a huge problem. There's Americans that are losing their lives. The argument that there's individuals in the United States that are criminals, that's getting old itself. We know there's people in the United States that are criminals, but that doesn't mean we need to start importing more criminals into our country. Ken Paxton, uh, the attorney general of Texas, was also on, on America's Newsroom earlier, and he was talking about how, you know, this is commonly talked about as being a border state issue. Obviously, these two cases, when talking about Sarah Root, Iowa, now Molly Tibbetts in Iowa, this is a problem that has to be addressed across the country. Watch. Obviously, we deal with more, the greater numbers of this because we are a border state, but it's not going to be just subject to the border states. This is going to move to all states, and we're going to have these types of tragedies across the country, and everyone's going to feel it, maybe not to the same extent that we do, but certainly, I think, ultimately, we're, we're all going to feel this. All right, we'll see how big of an issue this becomes politically as we head towards the election season. It's going to be a big issue, and I'm very happy, and we're grateful. The boots on the ground are grateful that we have President Trump that has been able to put that at the forefront. 
but what we are expecting is the leadership that has been in place and the holdovers from past administrations need to start doing okay. their job. Art Cueto, thank you for your time this morning. Breaking news of a new immune.